a boy was walking through the forest. The boy, named Ben, and his pig Oliver, who was trotting happily alongside him, were coming back to their hometown of Craftville after a long expedition. On the journey, they had traveled to the Marshmallow Dimension, a hard-to-reach land full of marshmallows. They were the first citizens of their town ever to go there. They had taken pictures of the creatures, the vegetation, and the landscape. The duo had even discovered a couple of ancient artifacts. Among them was a rusty old sword, which they had found interest in and decided to take it back home with them as a souvenir. Ben was thinking of what the townsfolk would say when they got back. They had made history and would be very famous, but Ben was a humble young man. Oliver, not so much. Hey Ben, don't you think that I'm the most wonderful creature on this planet? Probably not. I mean, you aren't bad, but you do tend to cause a lot of trouble and I personally think you could be more humble. Since when have I caused any trouble? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the time you caused an avalanche because you were singing too loudly? <laughs> I don't remember that. Ugh, what an arrogant pig. Oh my pork chop, what did you just say? Our story begins, yet not with the boy or the pig, but a place called the Marshmallow Dimension, a realm through a portal full of marshmallows. It was once said that no one could go there because of the extremely hard journey. And no one did, until two citizens of the jungle town, Craftville, decided to achieve the impossible and go there. These citizens' names were Ben and Oliver, Ben being a person, and Oliver being, well, a pig. So, Ben and Oliver both left uh, their town in search of the Marshmallow Dimension. It was a dangerous and hard journey filled with obstacles, monsters, and rough terrain. However, they finally made it through the portal and into the Marshmallow Dimension. The two friends explored the dimension a lot and found a lot of interesting things, the most interesting being a rusty old sword they found near a marshmallow cow. So, when it was time to go home, they decided to bring it back with them as a souvenir. A couple days later, they were almost home. As they walked, Ben thought about what the townsfolk in the village would think when they got back. They had made history and would be very famous. But Ben was a humble young man. His pig Oliver, mm, not so much. Hey Ben, don't you think that I'm the most wonderful creature on this planet? 